New at 5, another startling number. Right now, there are more than 10,000 kids in Georgia's foster care system. Some came from unsafe homes across the state. All are in need of a loving, secure family. And tonight, some major changes are in the works. They are. The goal here, getting siblings who might otherwise be separated by the foster care system, making sure they have a better chance of growing up together where they should be and getting more children adopted too. Atlanta News first reporter Rachel Aragon met with one Atlanta foster family to talk about the critical need. And with the help of child placement agency Children First, they're looking to foster even more. Honestly, I can be honest with you, I love it. Just for me, it's a joy for me to to put a, a smile on the kid's face. Georgia parents like the Neals will be able to foster more kids thanks to new rule changes from the Department of Human Services. A home will be able to care for up to six children in the foster care system at a given time. Currently, the six-child limit applies to the total number of children living in a home, including biological children. No, I never planned ever to take on five, six, seven, maybe more kids. Never planned that. But this is a journey that I'm on. Another rule change creates an exception to allow more than six foster children to live in a home to keep siblings together. We actually have a brother and a sister a four-year-old and a 16-year-old. The Neals know firsthand why it's important foster siblings are raised together. It gives the children an opportunity to, okay, I came with someone, I, I do feel safe, but it also lets them know that there are other people that love them. The Neals say while some days have their challenges, fostering several children has been the biggest blessing. Nothing is easy. It's not going to be easy but it's worth every moment to take, take care of a kid that needs a loving home, that needs someone to care for them and to be there for them. Do it. If you can do it, do it. Rachel Aragon, Atlanta News First.